Good day! <laughs> it's that time of the day again, 2 o'clock Melbourne time. And you know what time it is. It's time for the Lunch and Learn with Prosper. Right, um, so I'm hoping you've had a fantastic weekend. And if this is your first live uh, with us, I would like to welcome you to yet another explosive 30 minutes where we talk about how you as a um, you know digital entrepreneur can market scale and grow your business so that it's profitable and enjoyable Matthew how are you doing my friend hopefully things have settled down in Geelong today I saw you were uh, you know talking about people taking your jobs away Peter saying hello from Scotland how are you my man thank you so much for tuning in Guys, um, so over the weekend, I was doing a bit of reading, you know, as you should be doing so that you really, really get ahead. Kelly, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. Trish, hello. And guess what this um, live is um, all about today, Trish? It's about credibility and thanks to your wisdom, we are going to be talking about how to actually get, um, you know, credibility on the marketplace even if you're young or you're just starting or how you can actually gain the confidence to go in and catch the big ones. Beth, hello from Columbus, Ohio. We've got a call scheduled up, right? So it works out. And uh, Matthew says, nah, it was just a question. I don't feel threatened by it. Of course, by you putting it up there, you're actually showing who's boss. I like that about yourself. All right. So today's live show is dedicated to Trish. Uh, Trish gave me the suggestion that um, she's trying to do all of these things and, um, you know, through all of it all, she's being bombarded by credibility issues or by what I know, what is termed the imposter syndrome. Ever been in a scenario where you know everything, you know what you're supposed to do, but you don't feel adequate enough? You don't feel like people are going to take you seriously. You don't feel like people are going to accept your offer because maybe, um, you know, you, you've only just started. You don't have results or people don't quite know you yet. All right. So this live is dedicated to those people that are really trying to build their own credibility and they really want to start, but they don't quite know how to manufacture that. OK, um, to really put it all out there, guys, it's not going to be easy. If no one knows you, if no one has heard about your work, if no one has, you know, had any experience that they can go out and tell another person about your stuff, it's going to be really difficult for you to penetrate the market. All right. So if you've been following me for a while, I always default to three significant things. you got to know what your message is. It has to go to a specific market and for that market to reach for you to reach out that market, you need specific media. OK, that could be your Facebook. That could be your Instagram or YouTube. But you find that in the market there, people start over. People start with. Um, oh, Kelly says, I can't watch. What do you mean you can't watch? Can anybody else see me or hear me? Because I don't want to go on if people can't hear me. Can you just hit like or comment if you can see me or hear me? Somebody in the comments there says can't watch. Um, right, but before uh, oh, we, uh, while you guys are getting organized, the show must go on. All right, we only got thirty minutes, and thirty minutes goes by real fast. All right, so I was reading this book here. Um, it's called Great Minds of Business. What are you saying, Matthew? Often industry for short and then themselves brand right. Not on my mobile, but I can. Uh, Trish, you can't see me. Not on your mobile. Sounds good and clear. OK, that's cool. Can somebody let me know what's going on? Hi, Simran. Can you see me and hear me? Because people on there are saying they can't see me or hear me. I don't want to continue if people can't see me or hear me. Trish, you can't see me or hear me. Hmm. Is anyone else facing that same problem? Because we can't really go on if people can't see me or hear me. Um, can you can you try and fix that, somebody? Mark Zuckerberg. Oh. Okay, Simran says she they can see me. Oh, okay, you're on your laptop. Okay, 
All right, you need to buy a better phone. <laughs> All right, so I hope that you guys had a fantastic weekend. Today we're really talking about credibility and how you can stop help you know some people stop in their tracks to reach out to people you know why because they're afraid people are not going to take them seriously people are not going to think they can uh, deliver a promise but i'm going to show you a few hacks that you can you know go about it you know because you gotta start somewhere not everybody's born a genius not everybody's gonna be born with results not everybody is going to be um you know start off at a level that you know those gurus want you to feel like okay first of all stay in your lane all right don't look at what anybody else is doing all right if you're gonna look at the way i'm operating i'm gonna be honest with you guys i've got six guys that work behind the scenes for me all right. One of them is doing um, the, the, the Photoshop. One of them is writing content and curating it all together. One of them is, um, you know, doing, um, you know, my YouTube channel. One of them is just doing all the stuff. All right. So don't look at somebody and think you can just go in and produce the same way they're producing. Figure out what your particular strength is, and then if you can outsource the rest, then that's possible. Because people are being overwhelmed by people are being overwhelmed by so much work to do and so many channels to be seen on and so many things to be omnipresent on. Okay? If you know what exactly your market is, if you know exactly what your message is. The media will always change. Look at this. Look at what's happening right now in front of us. If you were so romantic about Snapchat in the last year or so, right now Facebook is ripping off everything that has to do with Snapchat. What does that mean for people that went all in on Snapchat? They, they don't have a platform anymore. But if you have a specific message that goes to a specific market, no matter what media you're using, you will still reach out to those people, okay? So if you would notice that, you know, at, at any given time, you know, in your startup life, you know, it's never going to be easy if your message is not clear or if your market is not defined, okay? There's going to be a lot of rejection. There's going to be a lot of product failures. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of isolation. So look at where you specifically are strong at. Katinda, how are you doing? Nice to see you here. Where your strength is, are you good at talking? Are you good visually? Or are you good at taking photos? Or are you good at writing? That way, you then craft your message using whatever media you're comfortable with, and then the rest you outsource. All right? So people are afraid of going out there because of what they're seeing other people doing, which is definitely not the way to go. You know, on the weekend, I was reading this book here. Um, this one here, Forbes, Great Minds of Business. I'll just read um, the chapter that really, not a chapter, um, a paragraph that really got to me. It says, what... Does it take to make it in today's uh, feverishly paced, ferociously competitive business world? And do I have it? These are probably the two most common questions posed by people in business today. Anyone who wants to be around and competing next week or next year has to ask consistently, do I have what it takes to remain in the game? All right. So a lot of people, a lot of people is, uh, a lot of people are, you know, being, you're just seeing the finished product of what other people are presenting out there. You're not seeing what's happening behind the scenes. And that's when you now start feeling inadequate. That's when you now start feeling like you are not good enough. All right. Everyone else is learning. I'll tell you something. The Internet is not older than 25 years. And I think Facebook and Instagram are not any older than 18 years. I could be wrong about the days or the times, but... Facebook is still more or less like a teenager, all right? Everybody is still, still trying to figure it out. So whoever is going out there, yes, whatever worked yesterday is probably not going to work today. They are constantly changing the algorithm. So if somebody is going to threaten you by stuff they knew yesterday, tomorrow Facebook is going to come in totally different. So don't ever be intimidated by somebody who's, who thinks they're ahead of you. You know why? Because what they know, they're only holding on to it sacred because tomorrow it might not be valid. But if your message is really consistent to the market you really want to bring out to, you will never go wrong. And 
Because because you know the outcome of the message that you're about to bring out, it will make it easy for you to reach out to your people, even without credibility. All right. Now, the way you then get credibility is through this statement. People do business with those they know, like and trust. If you don't yet have results specifically about income or work that you've done, showing up for people is more important than whatever results you got three years ago. If I can tell you that what worked for me two, three years ago is still working today, I will be lying to you guys. We are constantly being put um, you know, in front of an ever-changing social landscape. All right. Some somebody can tell you that these are the 10 steps you got to go on Twitter. But Twitter has since changed the 140 character, um, you know, um, limit. You can now put pictures. You can now put everything else. Three years ago, that wasn't possible. All right. So no one really has the be it and end all of anything when it comes to social media. You know why? Because every day we wake up, there's always something new that's on the market that we all got to learn. But what stays constant is your message and your market. That is not going to change. The media is always fluctuating. So if you hone in on who you're specifically talking to and who needs to hear your message, the how, the when, the why will definitely change. All right. If you really look at how we started with this whole Internet space, people started off at MySpace. But MySpace is long gone. All right. If people got romantic about learning everything to do with MySpace right now, they'll be so frustrated because Facebook is changing every single day with my job as as a digital marketer. I find it that every day that I wake up, somebody has designed something to take my job away. But because my message is so strong and my market is solid, I don't care what media I'm going to be reaching out to them. They're still going to need my work. All right. So the only reason why people really get frustrated is those Facebook ads that only work because they have made you look. All right. The whole Internet lifestyle only lives on deceptive Facebook ads. That's where it only works. And they say it's only for a limited time. Whenever something says limited time, that's as long as it works for a limited time only. So don't be intimidated, guys. You know more than you 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 could ever think of. You just need to relate to the people who need to hear that information. That's when the social prosperity um, you know era comes in because everybody's so full with information right now. All you gotta do is decode it. All right, all right. So Trish says, okay, I hear all this. However, when somebody asks, show me the results, and you are so young and don't have these results, what do I do then? Okay, so you you want to ask around the people that you've worked with, okay? You can say, I've worked with, you know, Live Long Digital, I've worked with Lotto, I've done work for these guys. You borrow the authority, okay? Some people would have maybe um, worked with other bigger companies. As long as you are going to be diligent about what you're going to provide, as long as you're going to show people that you are the person to do the job, they normally would want to see who else you know, and once they know who you know, then it automatically rubs off that trust with them. Okay. Sometimes you don't really specifically have to pull out really big numbers because people don't believe you anyway. They just want the confidence that are you the person who's going to take care of their job? So the way you do that is obviously you put out content, content that would then, if somebody comes through that content, they automatically know you know something about what you're talking about. OK, you know, sometimes if you are referred to people like, let's say, Trish, I refer you. Uh, yes. Through your associations. OK, you, you, you then get credibility by association. All right. You borrow that credibility. You see, many of the deals that I've closed have been through warm introductions. All right. So these introductions would have been introductions made, you know, Earlier on, when when a, when a trusted professional actually introduces me to my um, end, you know, customer. All right. So, you know, from then on, if I introduce you to somebody, no matter what you've done in the past, the credibility starts with the person that they trust already introducing you to that person. 
All right. So maybe that could be your content can introduce you to other people. If you write something and explain things to people in a way that they would never have understood it themselves, instantly your authority and credibility goes up there. All right. So if you don't yet have credibility, create. All right. Create it as long as you're going. I'm not saying fake it till you make it. I'm saying create podcast. Um, interview other people because who you are seen with in the market also rubs off on the credibility. All right. So if you are seen, you know, at networking events, you know, talking to people that are respected in the industry, what does that mean? That credibility is automatically passed on to you. Okay. Even if you don't have deep relationships within, you know, a specific company, you might know somebody within your network that can become a strategic partner so that they can introduce you into, um, you know, the board of directors to get that deal. All right. So, you know, no matter what age you are, you should, if you know people and you relate to them in such a way that they can say and vouch for you, that's automatically credibility. Okay. I've, you know, I've personally benefited from partnerships that I've made with people that are working within the corporate industry, you know, because that person has a job description within that company and they are already respected. So if you've got a relationship with them and then at their board meeting, they say Trish is good at graphic design, automatically nobody's going to question what you've done or who you've done it for, you know? Um, Matthew says, I don't believe in doing things for free, but if you can show the results with $5, well, Matthew, maybe things think your job, Matthew can be done by an app. All right. So you really need to show people you can help them by actually helping them these days. If you're going to be too romantic about what you know and what, what used to be, it might just be a problem. I noticed the other um, post you put out there, the world has become so big and vast that, you know, we really, really need to reach out to the people that we're going to be helping out. We need to figure out do who really needs your product and service and go out there and actually do it with them for them so that they can see what it is that you can do for them. All right. And in any case, I mean, there's quite a lot of stuff that we need to figure out in this whole realm. All right. You need to show that you can help people by actually helping them. And that then brings out your credibility. Identify who really needs your product and service and relate to them. You know, that quickens that quickens the, the, the whole credibility because you're showing up for them every single day. They can see what you've done for others, etc., etc. And even if you do things for free, ask them to leave a review. No one is going to know that these things were done for free. No. People are just going to see that as social proof that you can actually do work for other people. All right. So you need to figure out what actually keeps your customers up at night. Because if you know somebody's problem bigger than they can actually explain it themselves, then they think you're the person to save them, to help them actually uh, fix that problem. All right. And um, Dimitri says, so we need to show up virus up to various events that we want to be a part. Well, people are always really looking out for themselves. What's in it for me? So what people really need to see is what can you do for them? If you're going to go in and say you want money first, then good luck. Nobody's pretty much going to come around to you, right? You need to show people you can help them by actually helping them. All right. And then eventually, you know, there's, there's, there's quite a lot that you can do to amass that sort of credibility. Okay. You need to figure out once you've figured out who your market is, what they really need and how you can really provide that service to them. You then go in, find out what's frustrating them. What are their shortcomings? Because if you can explain somebody's problem better than they can, then they will be more than happy to help you out. So what sort of events, what publications are you being seen in to show that you're actually helping others, creating that credibility? All right. And also there's places like um, HORO, Hire Reporter Out. Ask people that have podcasts. Ask people that have shows or videos to be seen on those shows, to be seen on those videos. You know why? Because then it shows that you're not just somebody operating from their bedroom. You're really serious about making movement in and making an impact. 
All right. So make sure you are seen out there. That also breeds out the credibility. And once you can, you know, really, really relate to your customers, you now need to figure out how can they come back for more? What is necessary? What person do I need to become so that I can actually, um, you know, reach out to these people? And once you've got that, don't be afraid to even go out for the bigger companies. You know why? Because you as a startup, you are more flexible than a bigger company. All right. Some some big companies need to have, you know, when, when they put out a proposal, it has to be signed off by the manager and it has to be signed off by the operations clerk and it has to be signed off by somebody else. So that slows down the process. You as a startup, you can go in there, put your proposal and it's quick and, 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 and fast. You know what I mean? And then when they do then ask for the credibility, all those places you've been seen around, it can just work as instant credibility. All right. People need to see you in different places besides the only channel that you're being talked about. So you need to create that sort of influence. Be seen in groups, be seen on Quora, be seen on Medium, you know, putting out all that value automatically. It's so easy these days to actually create credibility around your work. But the problem is people are too lazy and too romantic about who they were before. Things are changing on a really, really fast pace. You just need to be seen in different places. Automatically, that breeds credibility. All right. And whoever you work around, they will then help you elevate you. OK, so, you know, like I said, all those people that you, you already know in your network, get them to introduce you to CEOs, get them to introduce you to other people. It makes it a warm transfer and it, 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 it doesn't make it um, too difficult for you to, to be seen and heard in the market there. All right. So sometimes you also need to show people where you are headed. All right. People are tired of seeing one click wonders. All right. So in your communication, let the people that are around you know where you are headed. Know if you're building a hundred million dollar company, how many stages are you going to do that in? You know why? That way they will start supporting you and bringing you business. OK, because if you're just going to be, you know, sitting there, people don't understand who or what it is that you're doing. And they don't understand if you're the right kind of person who can take on certain jobs. All right. So don't be, you know, your goals, your aspirations, bring them all out so that people know how they can help you reach those, um, you know, goals. All right. Like right now we're working on creating a hundred million dollar company and it's going to be happening in four stages. All right. So now that you've heard that you want to be maybe a part of that and help us build that company that way instantly elevates your credibility. You know why? Because you now have people that are happy to support your work and bring you towards the business that you want. So your goals, put them out there so that people would actually know what it is that you're working towards so that they can trust you in the future to deliver what it is that you say you're delivering. All right. So, you know, more than anything, guys, you really got to promote trust around your brand. All right. People do business with those that they know, like and trust. Are you creating certainty that you will able you're going to be able to deliver on what you're selling? All right. If the amount of people that are around you show other potential customers what it is they can expect from you. And that also is credibility. It's not easy to have 10 people that like your stuff these days on in, on, on 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 any social media. I can prove that. It's not easy, but when people see that you're constantly producing, when people see that, you know, you're constantly there, they would want to help you reach to your goals. You know, even more importantly, are you, you know, with, with the work that you're putting out there, are you demonstrating to your prospects that, you know, if you take, you, you, you are there, you're not whinging about what's happening. You're not crying about the industry. You are just focused on really working on, on, on who you want to be. And you're going to take the work that you're taking on from your clients through so that they get results. People don't care about what's happening in your industry. People care about what's happening to their work. All right. So if you're seen every day, whinging about other entrepreneurs, people will see that as weakness and you're not credible. Because what then happens if something major happens and you're doing their work? You really got to show strength. I mean, 
it's human to show emotion, but you want to bring and build that sense that people can rely on your business that you will put them through all the way. You know, so you need to figure out what is working to actually build that credibility around you. And, you know, how else can you show even yet, even before you've got results that you're able to do the job? Trust is a very important issue. If you're going to be whinging every day on social media, people will not want to work with you because what happens when the real problems come? That also takes away your credibility. You know what I mean? Because people... You're working with people's hopes and dreams. It's not about you anymore. Okay. So the, the, the people have worked so hard to create a business and what you're doing is enhancing that business. So if you're going to be whinging, nobody wants to put their money to a whinger. All right. So there's small things like that. Even being negative. All right. That, that takes away your credibility. Just be positive. Concentrate on your business. Nobody actually cares about what you're going through except you. All right. That's one thing that you should know. People only care about what outcome are you going to give them. Are you a stable person that they can trust their money with? All right. So people are not going to want to work with people that are constantly on and off, you know, on an on a, on a emotional roller coaster. That's where your credibility goes loose. It's not because people don't want to work with you or anything. You just got to make sure people can trust you and you are now an entrepreneur that, you know, deserves to be seen on the market. You know, just be trustworthy out there and the more people would vouch for you and talk about you at bingo or at a barbecue, the better your brand goes. It's not about the results or anything. It's about who you are carrying yourself on the internet. Are you being trustworthy or are you just tricking people into signing up to shady, you know, email lists and then just spamming people at the end? That also takes your credibility away because if somebody loses a bit of trust on you because, you know, they don't understand why they're receiving funny messages from you, automatically you can't win that person back. Humans are actually hardwired, hard, hardwired to seek trustworthy people around them. That gives us a sense of, 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 of safety. That gives us a sense of belonging. And they're always testing how others can, you know, you know give them that trust. We're the only sort of animal that's wired that way because we, 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 we live in a community and in a tribe. But the first way for you to be trustworthy is to be trustworthy yourself. And like then starts to attract like. So if you feel like you're not credible, it's because the people around you don't trust you yet. Make them trust you. Make them believe in you. And, and with that said, you will then move on. You know, so you will start attracting people that actually know, like and trust you. And guys, whatever you promise people, make sure you keep those promises. That also helps with your credibility. One small negative review online. Sometimes we don't get to see it automatically takes that credibility away. You know, so just make sure whoever we promise to deliver anything on, we, we stick by that promise. Word is bound, you know, and be diligent about protecting yourself and your personal brand. You know, as a new startup or as a new entrepreneur, you know, you already are a brand, you know, and people are already hoping that maybe in five years they'll get a job with you or you will be helping them somehow. So get in the habit of just asking yourself, how will this decision affect my personal brand? Everything that you're doing online, how is this going to affect my personal brand? Because even if you delete something online, it still stays. People can still Google it. All right. So everything you do and you don't do is going to affect your brand perpetually. And in the long run, trustworthiness and you, you know, creating that credibility, people will Google you for six years back and you won't realize what is stopping you from getting business. All right. So if you really want to make a difference, guys, look at this. I thanks to Trish. Let's all give Trish a round of applause. She created this for me so that you can actually see what it looks like. But it's too big. I created a bigger one. But in any case, guys. 
um, you know, the online prosperity blueprint is there for you to utilize. You will definitely know what audience to capture, what content that will bring all that authority and trustworthiness and how to convert those people into customers and actually connect with them. And there you see authority. All right. You see that. And then you're branding yourself. And then you're building loyalty and ambassadors. And these people are the people that will be sending you business and work. You're building relationships. And you have a community of people that is constantly going to refer work to you. All right? So we can go through this whole blueprint together, guys. All right? If you want a copy of this blueprint, just type in blueprint and I'll send you through. So that you too can be, do, and have what we're talking about here. All right? Credibility is not something that you manufacture. Credibility is something that comes with time. But in the meantime, you could always borrow some of it by actually being a good human. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully this was valuable for you. And I'll see you in the comments again. Thanks for your time.